Welcome to Tech Business with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to show percentage and count or either sum in the SSRS PIE report together. So let me show you a report. This is how we are looking for. Uh, let me see right there. So see right here, I have this uh, region Asia, Europe and North America. And then I have the sum of the sale uh, that happened in this uh, region. So you, you can see 11. Uh, for uh, one region, 10 for another one, and 19 for the another one region. So you can see right there, these are three regions and uh, their sale is in the numbers. But uh, we would like to also uh, display the percentage. So you see right there, 27% here, 25% here, and 47% here. How you how you will create uh, this type of uh, chart? So, so that's what I'm going to show you in this uh, report. Also, if you notice that uh, um, uh, I was saying like uh, you can do count and uh, or sum, so that depends upon some of the time. Like let's say in your table, you don't have that uh, number value. You have some uh, maybe users in uh, some uh, Asia region or Europe region or North America, so that's going to be count instead of uh, sum. Let's take a look on our data first. So let me show you. I have this uh, data, uh, and uh, is uh, the table is called the. Uh, total region sale so let's execute now I have this uh, region so you see right there and then I have item sold so that's the two columns we are going to use in this report so this can be some but if you have something like a product name and all that that can be count of those two so depending on the scenario what you are going to use so here we are going to use a region and item sold and then produce a chart like this so let's go to the SSRS, open a new project, sorry, let's go to Visual Studio, open a new project, and then we are going to say pie chart. That's our uh, project name. Hit OK. Now, first of all, we need to make a connection. So what we are going to do, we are going to create a shared data source. Or we can simply start from the report itself and, uh, you know, create a data source and data sets and all that there. So click on reports, so add new item. And uh, it's going to be report, yes, hit uh, add. And now inside the report, uh, what we are going to do, we are going to create a data source first. Uh, add data source. And here we will provide the name of the data source. So say, let's call it uh, like, you know, DS uh, uh, database name. In my case, it's ADF database. Okay, so it's going to be SQL. And uh, we are going to build a connection string. And here we will provide a server name. To get user server name, what you're going to do, select at the rate at the rate server name. And if I will click explore, it will take some time. So I don't want to waste my time here. Uh, that's the reason I am uh, pasting the name here. If I would have uh, click on drop down, it takes some time. And now I need to go to the database. So my database name is the ADF. And I'm going to hit a test connection is successful and you see that I'm using Windows authentication if you need to use the SQL server authentication or any other authentication you can use that hit OK now we are all good here you can go to credential and the same thing you can provide it here uh, hit OK and now we have to create a data set uh, add data set uh, use uh, embedded data set in my report yes use the data source that we just created and here we will provide our query so if you see that uh, we have uh, this uh, table and this has a lot of records, uh, sorry, and a lot of uh, and, uh, columns and uh, we need to use only these two columns. Uh, so I should not use an asterisk uh, because uh, it can take a whole lot of time sometime if you have a, a long list of uh, uh, columns and also a lot of records. Uh, so select what you need, uh, always uh, uh, that's what you need. and. Uh, that will bring less data to the report and it will help in running fast. Now we paste our query there and go to fields and uh, unable to connect to data source ADS. Okay, why is that? So let me see. Use actually, yeah, use shared data. Uh, sorry, use embed data and data source here. We should be okay here. Now let me go what happened here. Double click here, credential, use Windows credential, yes. Now double click here and fields. And uh, I'm going to use refresh field. Okay, so all good. Now let's uh, bring uh, our uh, chart here, chart, and I'm going to use a pie chart. So click pie chart 
and now let's make this one a little bigger so we can expand and see how exactly our report is going to look like okay now in uh, this case what we need to do here first of all you're going to click here once you click here it's going to bring this uh, chart data and all that information um, wizard here so we need to uh, select uh, on which values we would like to do the uh, sum count uh, and all those um, so these are the item these are the these are the different uh, uh, columns uh, on which we can perform our sum here is the items sold so I'm gonna click right there and uh, that's where we will do the sum of these if uh, we want to do count on some uh, such as I was telling you if you don't want to have a number there you want to have a, a list of the products or something like that then you will be doing count so in my case uh, I am doing sum and I have seen that let's say we want to see like how many users uh, uh, how many products have been sold across the region then uh, it will be count of the product names so in our case uh, it's not a really the scenario okay go uh, back here and now what we are gonna do we are gonna go to the category group uh, here we are gonna add and region our report is ready and uh, what we can do we can display the data now so right click here and say show data labels and uh, now preview the report and it should show us uh, data now you can see that uh, we have uh, 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 items sold across the region but we would like to also get the percentage here so to get the percentage of what we need to do here we need to go right there right click series label uh, properties uh, now once you go there you're gonna have a label data you're gonna click on FX uh, and that's where we are gonna write our expressions uh. so our expressions are going to be sum and uh, we are going to take the sum of which field we are going to take the sum of the items sold but uh, we are not uh, we have to tell the scope of uh, this uh, sum so we would like to take the sum on the chart level group right so here but I need to put uh, I need to put uh, uh, chart one and category group okay so if you ask me how did I get this value how did I get this name so if you see right there this is the what I need to put it here right that's my scope of this is sum of these fields so I'm gonna hit OK and I'm gonna show you hit yes and I'm gonna show you from where I got this so you click right there uh, right here and uh, see category group and you click on the region and then uh, you are gonna go to the group on the right side of the properties and that's where you are gonna see that name so see right there so chart one category group so tomorrow if I will delete this chart and bring another chart what's gonna happen it's gonna be chart two or whatever so the name can change so it's not gonna be always chart one just remember that so you have if you are experimenting multiple time or you have different charts you have to uh, you know see this and then write it it's not gonna be chart one now that's good if we go and preview our data it's still the same so this is how it was doing not, not, that's good next what we need to do we need to bring the percentages and uh, see this is what first thing we need and second part we are going to add a new line how you are going to do uh, the uh, yeah, this uh, end sign and then uh, you are going to type uh, vb c or c or l f okay so this will uh, carry your turn and uh, this is uh, how it is gonna bring the next value to the next line so that's the correct uh, that will create a new line now what we need to do we need to have this value okay so we are gonna copy this value divided by the entire sum of that uh, data set uh, so divided by we are gonna paste this value as it is I'm going to just to bring this to second line so you can see sum and here I'm gonna change the scope so scope of what uh, the sum of entire item sold so that's how I can find the percentage and uh, it's going to be a data set one see right there the scope will change so you are grouping the taking the sum of the group items right here and then dividing with the entire values so right there data set one now you're all good so hit okay hit okay and now you're gonna preview once you preview that you can see that uh, 11 and uh, these values but these values as it's a sum so what you are gonna do you're gonna make it percentage right so you're gonna multiply with 100 and add some percentage sign to it so right click here table series and now go to the FX 
and uh, here what we are going to do we are going to multiply with 100 so once we have that value calculated we are going to go multiply with the 100 here and also what we have to do here we need to concat uh, the purchase percentage sign so that's how you're going to do this is uh, your concatenations and then uh, the, this is the part you're going to concatenate uh, so now we hit okay hit okay and uh, see right there looks really good so you uh, now it is a uh, actual some of the those items sold and then uh, but you have a percentage uh, right here if you add uh, these up 27.5 47 and 25 that's gonna add up to the 100 now let's go and if we want to show these values outside the chart so how we are gonna do that so you're gonna click right there labels and here you are gonna go to the position uh, and uh, in the position on the right side here you have outside so click outside also what you can do there are other things you can do uh, let's say you want to have a font change you know you want to make it bold and italic and all those kind of things uh, you have tons of uh, other variety here you can uh, change the color so then there there is a lot of things that you can do you know and with this uh, you can play with that so in my case i'm fine but uh, if you want to go and say 12 pt or 15 so 15 points now if you preview it will look better so see right there so i change the color and also i have this uh, in the percentage right there so looks good so this is the expression i'm going to go over the expression one more time so you see that how exactly it is working so let me copy this expression uh, right here let me make it bigger so i can show you so first of all just to show the values so you're going to say a sum and field whatever the field you have here and then uh, and you have to provide on which level you want to do the sum and this uh, here we are doing by category group so once you have that values sum and then uh, you're going to add a new line there right there and at the end uh, what you are going to do you're going to take that sum and then uh, divide with entire data set value and uh, multiply 100 and also you are going to add the percentage sign add to it at the end what I will do, I will just copy this page and paste in the description so you can use from there. Thank you very much for watching and uh, please subscribe my channel. I will see you guys in the next video.